It's not many times that you have an opportunity in life to do something that literally can change the world. What we're doing here, we are drilling two vertical wells down to a depth of 4,500 meters. Once we reach that depth, then we will turn the corner and start to build what we call the radiator section. The radiator section involves drilling 12 horizontal laterals from the base of the, the two verticals, so 12 on each, connected in pairs. Each length of that pipe is 2,500 meters, so collectively we're talking about 60 kilometers of drilling. Then what we do is we fill that radiator with drinking water, we use a small pump to initiate the flow. Shortly after that, the pump is switched off because it will run naturally on a thermosiphon. And as the water circulates through the radiator, it picks up the heat through a process of conduction and brings that heat to surface where it can be used for power generation or directly for district heating. This particular Everloop at Garrett's Reed will provide almost all the heat to the local town of Garrett's Reed and another town adjacent. And in the summertime, when you don't need as much heating, plenty of the electricity just to the local area. However, we at Ever have not just been working on this one particular location. We have several other locations throughout Germany and throughout Europe and in North America, some others in Asia, but around the world. We have, we call the pipeline of project opportunities, places to go. So this is a location that will provide energy to the town of Garrett's Reed, but it is an example for many of the other places to say it worked here, it'll work elsewhere. And so now this is an example for others to follow, but we're not just depending on others to then figure it out for themselves where to go. We already have several dozens and dozens of locations in Germany and dozens more in other parts of Europe. Once they see it's working here, they move quickly and develop them around the world. It wasn't our plan just to build one Everloop and then hope others would follow suit. We've already got those others warmed up, ready to go. I think it has been a perfect event, yeah. We got the attention we wanted and the attention we deserved. It's the biggest and high level politician participation that Geothermal Project has had this far. Especially taking into consideration that we haven't finished yet. The potential of this project overwhelms even the results and everybody wants to be a part of it because he sees so much potential in the technology. I'm really impressed of the passion of the people and the attention of this project is raising from political point of view, from European community with the innovation found from federal point of view, local government, municipality. As a Turboden, we were interested in this project since 2009, when it was originally started as a traditional geothermal project, but the, the location was not good because the, the well was dry. Now, plan will really be done with the new advanced technology of Ivor. It was really a great event and a great achievement. We are quite proud that Evor received this funding from the European Commission, from the Innovation Fund, to demonstrate these breakthrough technologies. It was great today to see all this enthusiasm around geothermal, also from the leaders in politicians. We see the Chancellor Scholz, we have seen probably from the Bavarian authorities. And it's really great to see all this enthusiasm and we hope that now it will deliver some achievement in energy. Incredible, absolutely extraordinary. So first of all, it's just almost overwhelming having been involved with EVA for three or four years now to see the point that they have reached. They've actually got these huge engineering activities going on. They're drilling and it's incredibly impressive to see this complicated project coming together. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the level of support and interest, the number of ministers, the German chancellor, incredible. So it really does feel, um, it kind of feels like an important day. Ever is a proud Canadian company, and I'm very happy that we've got our partners, Chubu Electric, to come out to not only invest in Ever Technologies as a company, because they believe in us, but to invest in this new Garrett Street project, which is, of course, groundbreaking. It's a real game changer moving forward for the renewable energy world. It's genuinely the start of a new energy era. This is the very first commercial project using the Everloop technology in the world. And then Chubu is the, one of the important project partners of it. Being a part of the team, that is tremendous meaning for me and for Chubu. And not only for Chubu, but the rest of the world. This has a significant impact on the future of the renewable energy. 
We, Japan has the third biggest resources for geothermal in the world, next to US and Indonesia. And some of the players or politicians have a strong interest for uh, evolved technologies. I think the very brilliant future is coming. It's surreal. It's a bit of a dream come true to stand here today. You know, we had a dream in our basements seven years ago, and to have the senior level support of the Bavarian government, the Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Minister Scholz uh, from Alberta, there's really no way to describe how that feels. We're very proud, we're very grateful. Europe is in a sensitive situation when it comes to sourcing clean, reliable energy that's affordable for their people. So our technology is something that they're looking towards to scale. And so that's the significance of why we're here today, is the wells that we're drilling here is the proof that we're going to be able to take this outward into Germany, to other places, and provide that clean, scalable baseload power and heat. It's an honor to be here with EVER to obviously celebrate their first commercial geothermal project using technology that came from back home, a company based out of Calgary, Alberta, and obviously the expertise coming out of our oil and gas industry and now leading the way when it comes to geothermal projects. You know, I think the most exciting thing that we heard today was just how governments around the world are coming together to embrace technology and to share expertise and that, you know, it is the entrepreneurs and the innovators that have many of the answers to the challenges that we're facing around energy security, affordability, and of course, reducing emissions. So that's why I think today is, is such an exciting day. For me, it's really about the, the time and effort that's gone into it. So from the whole team, I think this represents the culmination of years and years of hard work from everybody to bring this to reality and make it actually happen. We started Earthworks back in October. We started drilling a little over a month ago in July, and the rigs are gonna keep drilling continuously for the next two to three years. So we're able to do this in a staged approach. There's four Everloops being built. We're able to bring these on stream as we finish them. And so that helps us both supply power to our own facility as we're continuing to drill, as well as to contribute into the grid. The first loop should be commissioned in probably eight or nine months. The power plant is a little bit later than that to get power into the grid. And the overall project with all four loops and the power plant completely done is on the range of about two and a half years. It's a completely different solution. We always say there's a bigger difference between what we're doing and regular geothermal than there is between regular geothermal and oil and gas. Oil and gas and regular geothermal, it's the exact same thing. You're just looking for a reservoir, and if you find it, you try to produce a fluid from it. In one case, you're producing hydrocarbons. In the other, you're producing a hot brine. We're different. We're not looking for a reservoir. We're just drilling down, creating a radiator, and collecting the heat by conduction. That changes everything. Being here at Garrett's Reed and at this location and seeing the rigs, it's inspiring. It's something we've dreamt about and the way the event looks and all the people that are here is even better than I thought it would be. So it's really a lot of fun. I feel very, you know, very happy and it's been a long time coming for myself and, and our whole team. It's great being here. It's amazing that we've had so much excitement around it. The German Chancellor, many, many other politicians, uh, not just even in Germany, uh, throughout Europe. The European Innovation Fund, the European Commission providing the grant for this location. The money is very helpful and nice, but really it's what it says. They're giving this technology a chance. We have an excellent location to try. And uh, the idea is not just to build one, but to build hundreds, thousands. But you have to start somewhere. Starting here is incredible. We've been planning it for four years. It's actually four years, August 2019. That's how long things take. We, we got it put together and we're here today. It's incredible. It is a special day amongst many special days. For me, it's the most exciting thing I have ever worked on.